Welcome, you guys, to a little interview and spotlight for one of the guests of KabuCon and one of the winners last night, I believe, in the scavenger hunt, right? Tubba Ujoba. Yes, I am. And <laughs> hello. So, dude, I, um, I remember that you kind of entered a contest that I did for Hypermind, but I don't know a whole lot about you. Where, um, where are you from? I am from Canada. Canada. Big old Canada. The mystical land of maple syrup. <laughs> I actually know a lot of people from Canada. Um, Bodogs from Canada and Palas from Canada. Quite a few Canadians around here. War Commando. So, yeah, War Commando too, which is big help and stuff. So, how you having? How you liking the service so far? Oh, it's so much fun. Good man. Good. I've been addicted to it. <laughs> yeah, you've spent more time on here than probably anybody else um, so far. Yeah, I have. You were off on the weekends, or you work, or? Uh, well, so far, all I know is that for the next, for the second week, well, technically first week, uh, I'll be free Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Oh, okay. Other than that, I'm not sure. Right. Do you work, or are you school, or? Both? I'm going to be uh, a little bit of both. I'm starting my work on Thursday and Friday. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, Wednesday and Friday. What are you going to do? I'm going to be working in the, in, uh, the deli section of the grocery store. Oh, okay. I actually worked in grocery um, a good portion of my life, man. Deli's pretty fun. It's uh, fast-paced. Days go by quick. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Benito did deli for a little while at a restaurant chain as well. Not a grocery chain, but it's pretty much the same thing when you get used to it. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So how long have you been playing Minecraft, dude? Uh, I've been playing Minecraft since beta 1.0, I think. Okay, yeah, that's quite a bit of ways then. So you've seen yeah. a lot of the evolution for Vanilla too. What do you think about Feed the Beast versus Vanilla right now? There's so much going on as far as mods. Mods used to never be, really be popular because nobody ever kept up with them, but now that we got some mainstream ones and Feed the Beast stuff is going on with Minecraft support and everything else, it's uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, uh, well, since I didn't get into the Hyperman thing, I've kind of been addicted to Feed the Beast. Mm -hmm. Because I really wanted to play it. Right, well, there's so, there's, there's a lot of yeah. other servers that play out there, too. Um, I think uh, War Commando's talking about making a Feed the Beast server for um, uh, pretty much for you guys and, and us. I'm not going to play on it much because I already have Hypermind to deal with. But uh, for the most part, I'll make some appearances most likely and visit you guys for sure. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to join that for sure. Cool. So you've been recording a long time, or is this something relatively new for you, the whole YouTube thing? Uh, well... I recorded a lot in the past, but my YouTube channels didn't really get that many views and I kind of got really depressed because of it. So I just started back up recently. There's no reason to get depressed over small views, man. Channel growth takes a long time to get. Some people get overnight at success, but it's very, very rare. So it's just, it's a consistency thing that you got to go for. And how old are you now? 17. Oh yeah, man. You got all kind of time. I'm 35 and I just started. <laughs> <laughs> so you got all time kind of time for sure so what do yeah. you record with and edit with uh i use camtasia studio to record and edit with okay uh every once in a while i'll probably try to use sony vegas right sony's a good program when you get used to it but it's pretty complex i actually don't like camtasia that much i used to use it because i had to when i didn't know how to screen capture uh, with fraps but now i pretty much just use fraps in vegas all the time vegas is expensive software so it's it's not something that it uh, is easy to acquire, but yeah. Um, so the scavenger hunt last night, man. How the how'd that work out? Like I, uh, I'm still. Uh, I want to hear specific feedback from everybody, so I might as well start with you. Like, how do you? Th what do you think about it? Was it too hard? Was it too easy? Was it just right? Uh, it was actually a lot easier than you'd expect. Uh, I guess it's just the way that my team went about it that we were a little bit faster about it. Uh, we were actually really lucky to get uh, two Ender Pearls because I got one of them, and I'm pretty sure Metavox will got the other. Right. Uh, we got it like right at the beginning, so yeah. Cool. How did you guys strategize? Uh, we all just pretty much went for random sporadic things. Like I went for, I went, well, I ran for a snow biome right away to get the uh, snow block, mm -hmm. and uh, I managed to find a surface dungeon. 
so I found some cocoa beans, and I went for the cookie, and by that point everybody else got everything else. Cool. That's pretty good, man. I, I was trying to get it to where there was a lot of easy items to attain and a few semi-difficult ones and a few very hard ones for bonus items. But I think everybody came out pretty good. Everybody earned a few emeralds and stuff, so it was good. Yeah, the hardest thing was probably the glowstone, just because yeah. mostly had to either do fight the witches or go to the nether. Well, I noticed that there was a lava bucket problem right, like right in the middle of the event when somebody made it... Um, apparent to me so i started doing the, the the witch spawning thing just to give you guys an opportunity to uh to get that glowstone because i checked the chest and i saw nobody had it and i was like i knew it was going to be difficult but getting a diamond pick to get into the nether would have been a lot harder so i'm glad we didn't have to go that route but uh all in all guys you, you guys did well it, it it worked out and did you find that it was too long or too short uh well an hour and 45 minutes of recording for me is Longer than anything I've ever done in the past. So <laughs> right, right. I expected you guys would do a little montage. I didn't want to take anybody's glory away, so I just kind of did a highlights from the mods perspective. Um, I thought about following you guys around and just trying to get some stuff, but I would have had to go into your channels, and that would have been a little confusing. So I didn't want to do that. Um, tonight's deal is going to be pretty good, I think. Too, we're going to do this mini game that I call Duo Demo. And I think what I'm going to do, and I'd like to get your opinion on this, what do you think about everybody in the same channels? Because it's not going to be a strategy thing as much of a, well, I mean, there's going to be some strategy, but uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be less talking except for smack talking because it's very PvP oriented and uh, it'll be like a fisticuffs deal, you know, no weapons, no armor and stuff, just, uh, just an all out brawl to get to the, uh, the monument done first. So I think it's going to be a pretty good time. Oh God. I'm way too competitive. <laughs> I think You'll it's going to be a good time. You're going to hear me screaming like nobody's business. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will, but it'll be cool. We'll probably do a few test matches, then we'll do some recordings and stuff like that too. I don't want anybody to get any real, real advantage by just knowing what to do or strategizing well, but I think the way I designed it, it's going to be pretty uh, evenly matched. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Is there anything that special you want to tell us about your channel? What is your channel, by the way? Uh, my channel, my channel, my channel is uh, Tuba Ojiba. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing, uh, but for right now, I'm probably just gonna do like random Kawakan and Minecraft stuff here and there. Okay, cool. Later on, I'm probably gonna do some music and art stuff. Awesome, man. And anything special you want to say? Uh, yeah. Damn those spiders, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, those spiders were ruthless, man. Cool. I'm going to go cry in a corner thanks to those spiders. <laughs> well, guys, that about wraps it up. Um, thanks so much, dude, for joining us on the server. And um, thank you guys for watching. Y'all can check the description below for um, a good little uh, description of Tubba's channel and a link to it for sure. Pass by him, say hi, give him a sub and a like. I'm sure he'd appreciate it very much. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.